Okay, family, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to take a video without it being too wobbly. I don't have any fancy equipment here. <laughs> In the background, though, you can maybe hear my neighbor. He is... Um, um, he's a pretty good handyman, you know, um, and I'm working on him to try to convince him of some other materials besides, uh, the lumber with which he is working over there. Um, anyway, we're getting there. I just wanted to point out something super bizarre. Let's see if I can find a different space. No, probably not. Probably not. Let me see over here. There's not much in here. Here's that nice. Look at that. Mm-hmm. A Mayan. That's piloting an anti-gravity vehicle. Okay. Woo, incoming rant. <laughs> I was in a store in La Panita, Mexico. A small little town and I was interfacing with the cashier who looked to be at least my age if not older and what I mean by that is that can remember a time in the life <laughs> um, before cell phones so this man I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sit back over here See how we do for the background noise because there's a lot of Agent Smith activity. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sure is. But anyway, I want to share this with you. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to just tell you I was in the store and I was interacting with this cashier. He was tallying up all my, my things and um, there was this slowness, this like complete lack of cognitive function, corona chakra virus thing going on. And and it and it's okay, you know? All right, so I'm just standing there and waiting for him to count up. It was like three items. He couldn't even do basic math. And the, I guess he didn't remember how to do that on the machine in front of him. So he was like, really kind of weird behavior. And then you know, just to make a full display of it, here comes the, um, here comes the encore, or rather the main event. Um, <laughs> um, his phone, his cell phone, his, yes, that thing, was in his pocket. And like an extension, constantly in touch with him. Mm-hmm. And it made a noise, which I presume to be like an incoming phone call. And as he was in the process of giving me back my change, he had it all counted out very slowly, methodically. I counted with him just to help. And it was like 10 pesos shy of the change. And he had 10 pesos coins right in front of him, but when the phone made a noise, he went like this. Boom, family. He was, oh, how do I say, pulled into another reality. And um, I told him as the phone was making the noise and I could see that he was eager to touch this device and interact with this device and whoever was on the other end of this device rather than interact with the customer who's standing there waiting for their, and there's a line of people behind me as well, like that reality. <laughs> and he's just totally mind controlled by this. And he just, and he, it's the device has literally become not just the reality, but the master of that reality, like the unquestionable master of that reality and what do I mean by that well because then as I begged him not to answer the phone to just give me my my money so I could go and and he could you know then and then because I came first in the line before the phone call 
And there's other people in line that were here before the phone call too. So just let it go through to voicemail. It's okay. You know, I told him, it. no, he could not and would not. He just, it was like, it was like I could see the, it was bouncing right off of him. It was no, hmm, it was literally just like something, some virus installed in his corona, just like I warned about almost five years ago, wasn't it? Five years ago. <laughs> um, anyway, so he literally stopped the entire process to my chagrin, but none to my surprise, and to the <laughs> chagrin perhaps of everyone else. Um, and I continued to observe and uh, whatever I could hear this person talking on the other end, it was like, hey, he could have just said, oh, hey, Roberto, give me one second, literally, and just set the phone down and then handed my change. He literally had my change in his hand ready to give me and, and, and was stuck on that last 10 pesos that was right in front of him and he just forgot how to pick it up and add that last 10 pesos. Like that's when they pulled him out of one reality and into another. That's when then he was yanked out of the natural timeline and into the unnatural timeline. And there's no other uh, perception of reality outside of that timeline. So despite the fact that this was clearly a friend that was calling him to shoot the shit or talk about what they're going to do later that night, or I don't know what their plans they were making. I could hear the other guy. It wasn't anything of an emergency. So clearly, you know, you would say, well, just, hey, buddy, give me one second. And literally one second, hand me my change and pick up the phone and say, hey, tell me what you need real quick because I got another customer coming. No, not that reality. <whistles> Gone. Completely unnatural timeline. And there was no getting through to him. He was like super gone, super gone, complete, complete hijacking. Um, anyhow, he went on from there to carry on, I shit you not, a two plus minute long conversation talking about nothing. Well, all his customers that I'm guessing you're getting paid to work here and that's your job. So <laughs> wouldn't you want to keep your job? I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's that bad. It's that bad. I'm just making an observation. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm sorry. I just said something that was rather judgmental, which is quite arrogant. If I, um, if I remember my humility and that I cannot pretend to know the mind of God, might be my fire name, Nierica, but uh, that's just an eye of God. It is not. <laughs> it's, a, yeah. So um, I don't, I'll take that back and say, like, instead of saying bad, I'll just say, uh, more obvious to you, even if you're not really paying attention to notice the little subtle changes that aren't so subtle anymore because it happens a lot that I go into stores and I'll be in the middle of a transaction and there'll be a queue of people waiting behind me and they stop everything to talk to their friend on the phone it's really, well, from an elder's perspective, it's really bizarre. And I'm just wondering, does anybody else out there feel that way? I don't know. But if you do, that's fine. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm just making an observation. Like this guy, I'm just making an observation, many observations culminating with just this one guy of how many times I have been right there in front of me I have watched the 
the um, the avatar get pulled into a completely different unnatural timeline and and um, yeah that's the choice that's the choice and anyway more on that infrastructure maybe by the end of this year we'll see I'll put it in the dream world and you can download it telepathically until then the acronym is T S P no Pardon me. The acronym is TSD. That's Tom Sierra D. That's the acronym for the infrastructure. Just so you know what it is. And while you wait for me to disclose that, you can refer to um, a Holly Weird movie called Lucy. And there's a whole bunch of other books and things like that that have programmed our sacred imagination to create the Orwellian situation that we're in. And um, to resolve all the stuff that we came here to resolve in that process. So without shame, blame, guilt, grudges, grievances, certainly without judgment, without woulda, coulda, shoulda, I'm just spitting it out. And maybe somebody will see this video and they'll be like, uh-huh, and they'll just like, they won't even need a part two. They'll be like, oh, let me tune into that field. And they'll see oh, the stuff that if you had full disclosure of what it was, you would not wish to entangle with it at all. All my best family. I think this might be the first video I try to post on some other platform because I um, there's been a lot of shit <laughs> coming my way since I dared <laughs> to post anything that eludes game and how to navigate it um, yeah who knows this might even be my last video posted at all <laughs> love you family this I'm not saying it's not my will family for sure it's not my will mm-hmm -mm. Oh, no, not my will, thy will, great spirit. Hmm. I only have a dream, right? And that's it. Sometimes you got to be willing to sacrifice for your dreams. Do not let that deter you. Instead, be here, uh, come here and be the courageous individual that you came here to be to take an honest 
childlike observation of the situation in front of you. And with that courageous heart of a child, state the obvious. The emperor has no clothes. And outside of a control mechanism of fear, And deception? It's powerless. Like, really, it's it's only fear. They, it's the fear of us and our magic. And our Corona Chakra connection to the Great Spirit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to leave that with you, family. I just wanted to have a little rant. <laughs> See how it goes. See if it's not erased. Let me, let me give it a test. This is my first official first <laughs> rollout attempt to post a video on some other platform directly. I don't believe there is a platform out there that I can do that. But we'll we'll give it a go. We'll see. I'll go and have a look into it and if I can find one I'll post this out there. And then maybe who knows I could link the GooTube channel up so you could see the other stuff. But anyway. We'll see. We'll see. Eventually. Maybe not just yet, but eventually. Yeah, I don't want to piss off any more Archons. They got too many of you and your kind of crazy ideas <laughs> associated with them. That's cool. I mean, I didn't mean to say crazy. I meant to refer to... I believe the word is locura. I can't recall exactly. Check into that. Locura. The Greek word. Locura. That, that's what I meant to say. See? It's also where we get the word crazy in, in Spanish. Loca. Or loco. Let us send down the languages so that we may confuse and divide them. Chapter 7, verse 11, Genesis. Five years old. Mommy! <laughs> Otra vez. <laughs> Once again, who's us? And who's they? And who's we? I thought this was the word of a monotheistic God. Oh, you're one of those, are you? Psh, psh, divergent. Yeah. Yeah. Let us send. That's the way I remember reading it. Now I'm sure they've changed the words since then. I'm just, I just know it. You always do have to, don't you, with the truth. You gotta put it in writing and then move it from multiple different languages into multiple other different languages and Pretend that that's not the, offer up some controlled resistance to pretend that that's not the ultimate objective, which is to do exactly as you had written in Genesis, to confuse and divide us. <laughs> so, apologies if I myself become confused and divided with the words I use. I do not wish to cast any spells or imply any negative contentations. I, sometimes I forget to mention, sometimes I'll say crazy instead of locura, for instance. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Mixing up the languages. Okay. Ah, that's it, family. Just want to leave that rant with you. Give this a test run and see how we go. If there is mis mission success and um, we'll, we'll go from there. Ciao. Ciao for now. <laughs>